Coding and programming, two words that often get used interchangeably when talking about game development, website development, and making mobile applications. But is coding and programming the same thing? From an outsider's perspective, coding and programming are synonymous. You hire a coder, you get a program. You hire a programmer, you get a program. So is there really a difference between the two? Yes, <laughs> yes there is. Let me break it down with a real world example, and then we'll take a closer look at the difference when it comes to game development. Imagine you're writing a book. This is a long chapter book, and it will be many hundreds of pages in length. If I tell you to go write me chapter 13, and I give you a brief synopsis of what should happen, then could you write me that chapter? Is it going to be great? Uh, maybe. Will it make sense with the rest of the book? Probably not as much. In this scenario, you're a coder. Now imagine I'm giving you an idea for a book. You sit you down and plan out what happens every step of the way. You know the characters, the twists, and how it all ends. Now if you sit down to write chapter 13, even if you haven't written anything else, that chapter will come out much cleaner and fit into the overall story considerably better than before. In this scenario, you're a programmer. In both cases of writing that book, chapter 13 got written. The difference is, in one version, you were prepared, studied, and knew the story. The other version of you just got it written and hoped for the best. When it comes to programming and coding, it's a very similar idea. As a programmer, you're responsible for the entire piece of software, not just a single portion. You have to know how it will all fit together, how each piece will interact with each other, and ensure the overall product functions as expected. As a coder, you're more often writing a small part of the program. You may not understand how it all fits and communicates with everything else, and that's okay. A coder gets that part written and working as instructed, and if it has been designed well, then it will work with the rest of the system. So now let's take this idea into game development. Let's say you've got this amazing idea for a game and you're excited to jump right in and get creating. Can you do that? Absolutely. Is it the best idea? And eh, not always. There are definitely times I will open up Game Maker and just start coding away at an idea I had for a game or a new mechanic that I want to try out. But coding in this way will only take you so far. To have any hope that your code will eventually manifest into a great game, you have to step back and plan the rest of it out. How does that gameplay element fit into the overall game? Does it mesh with the other ideas you've got floating around in your head? Could you combine idea X and idea Y to make something even cooler? These are the things you think about as a programmer, but not so much as a coder. It's okay to sit down and write code without thinking about it too much. I know I do it all the time. Sometimes we just want to see something come to life that's been in our head. No problem. But if you want to bloom it into a fully finished and polished piece of software or game, you have to take those three steps back and give it a lot of thought. Just because you can code doesn't mean you always should. If you're just starting out in game development or learning how to code, is it more important to learn how to code or to program? The answer is yes, or both. For me, I learned how to code and then I learned how to program. I'm a very hands-on learner and I couldn't wrap my head around the concepts without first seeing them implemented in front of me. I can remember feeling frustrated as my professor stood up at the front of the class explaining concepts like arrays, data structures, and memory allocation. What were these things? What did they even mean? To me, I couldn't wrap my head around them until I actually saw them and coded them myself to see how they worked, how they interacted with each other, and really just what they meant beyond just talking about them. And so there's nothing wrong with just diving in and getting your hands dirty with some coding. That's totally fine. But if you're someone who really likes to think things through before starting anything, there's also nothing wrong with that approach of doing your research, listening and reading, and just grasping that idea in your head before diving into the code. 
One is not better than the other, and it really just depends on your learning style and who you are. So what does all of this mean for you? Am I trying to tell you not to code? Hardly. If you don't code, you'll never create anything. Instead, be mindful of what you're learning. To be a great programmer, you will need to know how to code. But if you're trying to learn how to think like a programmer and you see a video labeled how to do X thing in Y language, it's going to be teaching you how to code something in a specific way instead of teaching you why it's coded in that way or how it fits together in a bigger project. You can't be a great programmer without knowing how to code. But if you only focus on the code, you'll never be a great programmer. If you liked this video, please leave a like, consider sharing. If you learned something new or you disagree with how I define these terms, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. If you want to see more from me, check out the video description for links. And until next time, keep making, keep learning, and I'll talk to you later.